well. <laughs> if that wasn't a commercial for the Pac-12, um, I don't I don't know what is. I mean, I, I've been here for eight years as an assistant now and head coach, and it's the most exciting game I've ever been a part of. Um, I think it was great for women's basketball. I hope people were tuning in. Um, you know, and I do want to talk about the UCLA Bruins for a second. They came up here to play us in a non-conference game. Um, you know, they, they could have bowed out a couple times because we had a lead. And they just, they're fighters, and they kept coming. And Jordan Canada was um, like video game sort of hero status, and that's good for the game of women's basketball. But I also get to, to look at the young women in these gold jerseys and whatever UCLA came with, and it was good. I'm just in awe of the toughness that I saw. I, I'm in awe. We have a young team. I, I think that's what we've been asking from them. Like, do we have it, you know? Um, and I've just never been a part where all nine people, I mean, in their different ways, basically said, I refuse to do anything less than give everything to my team. And it was incredible. And there were great plays. And I mean, Courtney was a monster. And I, and I expect so much of her. And, and TZ's three. And, but the collective will is what I'm most proud of. We have a lot of learning moments. You know, I think we did some things um, in critical moments that we are going to learn from. But I don't know that you can learn toughness and heart that we saw tonight. So I'm just I'm, I'm thrilled um, to go into the holidays with this. But more importantly, I'm just really thrilled to get to coach these, these kids who just are that, what you saw tonight. I mean, it was sort of the same going into each overtime. Like, we quickly just, anytime we saw like a, a down face, we just had to check it and say, you know, five minutes of basketball. This is what we do, you know, just kind of getting them reset. We're winning this game. Going into the second overtime, they were saying it. I thought going into the first overtime because Jordan hit such a, you know, spectacular shot, I had to kind of like, okay, let's go five minutes. But the second one, they were saying it, which is, which is huge. Um, and I just thought, not only were we saying it, but we then came out, and I think Kayla hit a big shot at the beginning of each overtime, which set a tone. And, and really, just our players never backed down. It was like next person up. I mean, Mane Mosley's minutes were huge. It's not easy to step into a game that you haven't been in for a lot and just go ahead and, and be really good. You know, obviously, Gabby sprained her ankle, and she's saying, I can do it. And, and then the kids that were playing 45, 50 minutes, I mean, it, I've just never seen anything like it. I mean, the whole game was a battle. We knew it was going to be a battle going into it. Um, we just had to keep playing through through it all and just have each other's back. Someone fall, pick them up, and just keep playing. I did put a quote on the board before the game, a Muhammad Ali quote, and it said, he said, I don't start counting my push-ups until it starts to burn, then I start counting. So I said, this, the toughness factor and the effort factor, that's a given, and then we start after that. So then when that first qu quarter, when there was no media timeout, and at halftime, I'm like, we haven't even started counting yet. They're like, really? <laughs> because it started to burn there. Um, so it just, it was, it was tremendous. I just, I don't think we're going to have a conditioning workout tomorrow. That's, that's off the, <laughs> off the game plan now. I think, you know, we knew they were going to come at us. Like, overall, just sort of the general feel of the game. You know, the 28 offensive boards kept them in it for a lot. But I think Jordan, you know, there was a run there where I think she had seven in a row, two, like, ridiculous drives, and then a three. And I can't remember exactly when that was, but I think it, it went from, like, 13 to five or 13 to six. And so then they were in striking distance. Um, but what I, what I liked is that we, we kept attacking. I mean, we shot 53% for the game. And, and, I mean, 21 turnovers in a, in a double overtime game, like, I don't think we threw it to them. I, I think we didn't always get the stops that we needed, and we knew they were going to be a factor the whole game. And then just down the stretch, we didn't close it out well. That's as much on me as on them. You know, we missed – you know, a couple opportunities. We, we, we took some quick shots. We threw it away a little bit. So I think we had a cushion. And then just right there, they struck in that last minute and a half or something. I mean, I'd have to look back. But I think they kept themselves in striking distance. And then they made key plays. And a lot of that was Jordan and their offensive rebounding. Asia's struggling a little bit from the field. Um, you still shot well from the free throw line. Still hit a couple of critical threes. Played solid defense. When the shots aren't falling, are you looking for other ways to help the team? Yeah, I have to. <laughs> I have to, um, whether it's offensive, uh, defensive-wise, I'm, I'm going to have to contribute somehow. And uh, 
I guess either it's diving on the floor. That's that's one that I'm starting to pick up <laughs> and I'm starting to enjoy. Um, but yeah, I, I have to pick up uh, other things on the court for my team. <laughs> Did you say? Do you remember it? Um, I know Jeezy. She told me if, if some I don't I don't know. But I was just thinking in my head like I can make the shot. Now that I didn't I didn't think I was gonna make that one. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. The thing I thought was the best about it was the clock awareness. I mean, that's just some, again, they just, they, they, we have young players, you know, but just to be aware of, I got to get this thing up, and it gives you a chance. I mean, I don't know if she'd make that one five more times in a row, but just to give us a chance to, to get it up was huge. I'm amazing. I mean, 15 points on six for eight. And, and what I've sort of thought going into the year is that we have six starters. And when, she hasn't done stuff like this. I've been honored to say you're our sixth starter. Like, and she's totally embraced that. After our last game, Nebraska, she said, "I'm not doing well enough. It's on me." She had a great week of practice, and what an opportunity, right? With foul trouble and stuff, that that to to do exactly what we need, which is to say, there's no drop off when you know when when she's in for a starter. I, I just thought it was huge. Her aggression, her confidence, the spin moves, the left-handed finishes. I mean, it was. We wouldn't have won without it. These guys know. I mean, I talked about transition defense every single day, maybe even on our off days. I might have been sending them text messages about transition defense. I mean, that's how much I was saying it. And we drilled it every single day. So I thought early in the game, we just really didn't let her get anything easy. The second half, I don't think if you can call her finishes easy. I mean, she's doing all this kind of stuff. But I thought she got deeper into the paint, you know, and some of that was, you know, Gabby started the game stopping the ball, so we had to make some adjustments, you know, we had to have AT do it sometimes, put Kayla doing it, but I just think she got deeper into the paint and, and got out in transition, which allowed her to, to make some plays. You guys went into overtime without Christine, but, I mean, didn't miss a beat. I mean, I think that's the difference with us this year, is that we have a lot of really good, I mean, Courtney has 29 and 12, and it just seems like Courtney being Courtney. Like, I thought she stepped up and made plays, but she's capable of that. She's also capable of having a great game when she has six points and 10 rebounds, right? And same with Gabby. We just have different people and different weapons. And, you know, we knew that we had to be aggressive tonight because of their pressure. We knew that the person with the ball in their hands might have to make a play. So I think when Christine wasn't in, they all just knew it's got to come from somewhere else. And, you know, and they stepped up. I thought, I thought all of them did. And obviously Christine was so efficient, 25 and 10 in her minutes. But then these guys, their confidence didn't drop at all when she was out because I think we just have a really versatile team. We don't rely on any one person, and that's one of our strengths. For the players, this is a pretty personal place to be like in a couple of weeks. Are you looking forward to this highlight of the play? Well, I f personally, I feel like we are. Um, we can't wait to go, you know, down to UCLA and play them again at their house. Uh, it's gonna, be, I feel, it's gonna be the same, same environment, the same feel. It's gonna be a battle, but this is a, this is a good feel for us going into conference play. What does it say about your team that you know you, you guys just took out a team, a double OT, whose only losses were to South Carolina by three and Notre Dame in overtime? And those are two like elite programs that they took to the wire. I mean, how much confidence do you guys feel knowing that you just beat a team that was in those types of programs so well? Yeah, I mean, part of the reason we scheduled this game, I mean, there's, there's a number of reasons, right? It just this is the year we don't play UCLA and USC twice, and so just it's a natural rivalry. It's it's you know two great schools with a great fan bases. So we wanted to do it for that reason. We also wanted to do it because we felt like we needed another really good non-conference game. So um, I think to get a chance of a high caliber team in our gym was huge. I mean, they're really good. I've watched a lot of film on them. I I'm not surprised. I mean, I told Corey before the game that they have everyone back essentially from last year and they're all better, right? And so they're really good. So for us, I think it's huge for our conf for our confidence and for our growth to put really good teams in front of our, pl our players in non-conference and to be able to come away with wins, you know, in most of them. So I think it's it's huge for us. Um, you know, I, I just I, I think that that our players rise to the occasion 
of these great games. And so, yeah, I, I do want them to think they're on par with the Notre Dames and the South Carolinas and that, that we've established this program at a pretty high level. And then these young ones want to fight to keep it there and do even better things. Any other questions? Thanks, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Thank everyone. You.